Well, to answer uh, one uh, viewer's question uh, about the LiDAR uh, mapping, they don't give a whole lot of specs, um, they don't give a whole lot of specs about anything. And um, uh, the sensitivity to white objects versus sensitivity to black uh, in uh, uh, bright surroundings and the same in dim surroundings, that's not given. Uh, the sample rate, I have no idea. Uh, the scan rate, again, uh, not uh, something that uh, uh, they reveal that I've not found yet. I'm sure I'm going to find it in the, um, in the Roboverse on uh, Discord.com. Uh, and a matter of fact, I highly recommend anybody that's going to buy one of these, go to their uh, website and um, uh, participate, ask questions. Uh, there's people in there that know so much more than I do. Um, I've just gotten this and haven't really had a whole lot of opportunity uh, to um, learn about it, uh, mainly because, again, the weather's not been best. Don't really want to use it a lot in-house because with the LiDAR, um, uh, not... Uh, uh, well, I shouldn't say that. The LiDAR does work very well. But again, uh, the robot just moves so fast um, that uh, uh, I, I really don't trust uh, my driving ability. Uh, and here, let's uh, rotate this around. And there, I've got a table in front that, um, uh, okay, I guess that's not gonna work. I'm trying to use a mouse. My phone, which is a um, Samsung uh, A14 uh, G5, for some reason does not have uh, the uh, USB-C to HDMI capability uh, that my uh, Flip uh, 5 uh, does. Um, I, I don't, but then again, it's a burner. I, I'm not putting this on a good phone. Uh, I'm, I'm putting this app on a phone that has no personal information on it whatsoever. I'm just not a very trusting person. But anyways, um, what you see here, this is uh, one of the chairs um, of my dining room table, and I believe that is uh, uh, the other chair. This long piece is the um, uh, uh, tablecloth. I'm not sure what this void is, because uh, that should be the corner, as you can see up here. This is what the LiDAR is seeing. There's my, I'm sorry for bumping that. Sorry, I had an alarm go off there. <laughs> I can only assume this corner here is this uh, uh, absence. Oh, unless this is, maybe that, well, no, because again, not sure how accurate the robot's depiction is relative to the LiDAR, because this makes more sense that this is the dining room table this is the wall as it comes up and makes the corner. This is where there's an opening to the front door. And this actually is my couch here. Let me get in front here and let's see. Are we seeing any any uh, movement there? I'm... Maybe we are. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um... I think their placement of the robot in the, yeah, because that is, that is me uh, here. I think that's me in the picture. Here, let me move out of, the, out of the way, see if I disappear. Mm, no. So, okay, well, um, not really sure. Yeah, that's got to be the couch. This is the dark area. I mean, this is this is in here, and and this is the corner there, and the dining room table is off here. Let's uh, go back a little bit here. Yeah, there you go. Now you see it. Uh, let's let's back up just a here. And again, okay, why is? Well, 
I don't want to move too fast. I already had it knock into my, my, my kitchen island yesterday. So um, I wish I could answer the question about uh, the, the uh, LiDAR mapping. I can't because I just don't, uh, I just don't have that uh, information. They're not, uh, they're, not, uh, uh, they're not giving it out. So anyhow, uh, the second question, let me stop here and let me just rotate around to the, um, the robot. Okay, the second question was asked by a couple of people, and that is its ability to withstand moisture or water. One viewer, I guess, wants to use it in a cave environment. Well, the first problem with that is, unless you're near it, it's not going to work. Uh, this is only uh, Wi-Fi um, capable. There is no real high-power RF uh, um, transceiver in it. Uh, it's it's uh, whatever the range of most uh, Wi-Fi is within your phone and the robot, which I can't believe is much more than maybe a uh, hundred a hundred feet or maybe two hundred feet, something like that, in a good line of sight uh, situation in a cave. I'm sure it wouldn't be that great. Um, so that right there might be uh, uh, something to consider. Uh, the Wi-Fi, uh, the, the remote control range is, is just not like that of an RC vehicle. Uh, the next problem would be, this is all open. There's, there's holes up here and there's holes in the back that are wide open to the circuit board that resides right underneath this cover. I've got a picture that I'm going to post that I pulled down from uh, the uh, Roboverse uh, website. And there's no conformal code on the boards. Uh, there's n no uh, gaskets along here. Uh, I would say this thing is not waterproof at all. Um, uh, somebody asked about an, uh, an IP rating. Um, no way, because if you look at even the lowest number on the IP chart, uh, the first digit is for dust, uh, the second digit is for moisture. And for dust, uh, these are open gaps between the motor, uh, or, uh, the coupling between the two motors, um, or I'm sorry, the motor and uh, the hub. Sand could get down in there and just, just create quite a problem. So I doubt very much they've put in uh, uh, moisture or dustproof bearings. Uh, the same thing here. So sand uh, and, and high dust environments I'd be concerned about. Moisture, again, uh, high humidity, I'd be careful. Uh, any kind of water. I'd be concerned about walking this just in my front lawn, uh, except uh, in the late afternoon when I know the dew has... Uh, uh, burn, uh, burned off. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not waterproof, sorry. It's not even water resistant. So be, be very aware of that. Uh, if you take it outside like I plan on doing, just make sure it's a nice sunny day and there's no chance of any kind of uh, water getting splashed onto it. Uh, you know, whether it be from uh, Mother Nature or somebody standing over it with a drink uh, and spilling it, um, yeah, uh, nope, not to, uh, not an IP uh, rating that I'm aware of. So anyhow, I, I hope that kind of helps and uh, uh, still doesn't discourage you from buying one. It's just not going to do um, uh, some of the things you might want it to do. Uh, so, you know, just... Uh, just be just be aware of that. Anyways, I'll uh, I'll come come and see you, uh, or I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you in another uh, video when I've got something uh, something more interesting to uh, talk about. And uh, y'all have a great day. Bye.